Bondage is a horrible thing. The humiliation of not being a free man and not controlling your own destiny is a thousand deaths. A person of courage only dies one death, but a coward. A slave dies thousands of deaths. And I see the excesses and the wanton prosecution of tyranny against every form of goodness and the religious fervor with which the system destroys the republic, destroys the Bill of Rights, destroys the Constitution. I am watching our shields fall. The hedge fall. I'm watching what our forebears built, a system to protect the individual and to protect basic freedom. I am watching it burn up before my eyes like a city on fire, collapse daily. Things that the globalists would only attack from the side with a glancing blow. Things that they would only chew at on the edges for decades. They are now just wrecking balls to the War Powers Act. Wrecking balls, the power of the purse. Wrecking balls to Congress with the Super Congress. Wrecking balls to the Second Amendment. Wrecking balls to sovereignty and the border. I mean, they are just, it is all being destroyed right now. You, any way you look at it, we now have a dictatorship of the executive branch in this country. The republic has truly fallen. So, Muammar Gaddafi is vowing to fight for years. And it's buried all over the even mainstream media that the main rebel force is real al-Qaeda that these are rebels that fought U.S. forces in Iraq and that they are now to be given control of the government of Libya and undoubtedly now uh, they will let these groups attack the United States and then simply take more of our liberties. See, see that's the master piece that is stage terror. But don't forget what CNN and Fox News are both reporting. First responders decry exclusion from 9-11 ceremony. They are not allowed to be there. The government says, well, we're going to try to recognize you, but you're not allowed into ground zero. Only uh, the politicians are. Why is that? Well, it's because most of these responders are mad about the fact that they have been denied health care for nine plus years. And when they finally were uh, authorized to get it, they have to go through Homeland Security every time they access uh, health care to, quote, check them to make sure they're not terrorists. And all over the country, in many different types of jobs now, including union jobs, you have to get Homeland Security authorization before you can have that job. And I'm talking about janitorial jobs, street sweeping jobs, See, the war on terror is about making us all prisoners who've got to get government permission, even if you've never committed a crime, to buy a gun, to have a job, to travel. That's the essence of an internal checkpoint in an authoritarian system. But it's all done to fight the terrorist. And then meanwhile, real al-Qaeda, for six years, has been attacking... The Iranians, in staged terror attacks in their country to undermine that government, and our own su supposed government admits it. And then they're used against the Serbs, they're used against the Russians, they're used against Gaddafi, as I've told you. Osama bin Laden was CIA created and trained. 9-11 was a staged event. The official story is a fraud, and 9-11 has been used to burn our republic to the ground.
we're now just basically more real estate. If we don't have that Bill of Rights, if we don't have that Constitution, then we're just more dirt. Like North Korea or Mexico or Russia or China. Joe Biden yesterday said he totally understands China.